let us understand one important concept called antakarna or inner instrument what is this antakarna you can say our body is the vehicle like a car the car has to be controlled so the controlling function is done by the antakarna who is the driver the consciousness so antakarna has four aspects it's called manas buddhi ahankara chitta okay so it is represented here there is the manas which is which actually receives the input from the sense organs and gives the input to the intellect buddhi so in between it passes through the chitta chitta means impressions and buddhi takes a decision okay so what happens let us say the manas a object is seen okay let us say you see a pot so the mind conceptualizes mind forms the image manas forms the image of the pot and deliberates what is this because mind cannot decide manas cannot decide so when it passes through the chitta chitta is the impressions or memory where the pot is matched with the object so then input is given to the buddhi saying that this is a pot the buddhi will make a decision buddhi is buddhi buddhi concludes so antakarana is manas buddhi ahank chitta these two together function for helping you to take a uh, operate in the world so buddhi gives a command to the organs do this now right so for example let us say you see a 100 rupee note on the street the the manas a image of 100 rupees is formed in the mind manas so manas itself cannot decide whether it's 100 rupees or not okay but that then it goes to the impressions memory chitta so there you decide it is 100 rupees then it will buddhi so the buddhi will take a decision oh now i should take that pick up that grab that or leave it so this decision is done by buddhi so these four three aspects work perfectly well okay so please understand these are not three parts of the mind but they are three functions of the mind the same mind functions in three ways now in between there is one more aspect comes into picture called ahankara okay ahankara means feeling of i amness so now this feeling arises in the manas okay when there is something seen the manas also creates an idea or creates a thought process say that i am seen okay so this i am is the ego i am is the Uh, ahankara or ego now this ahankara or ego starts taking control of the buddhi and directs buddhi ideally the sakshi or witness light of witness should operate on the buddhi and buddhi should take decisions based unbiased way but the ahankara the ego will come up because of the operation of the manas and this ahankara takes control of the buddhi and when it takes control of the buddhi the buddhi the intellect will not operate normally now all your actions become selfish in nature okay the whole of spiritual sadhana is to remove this or drop this what you call ahankara so that your buddhi operates directly under the influence of the sakshi or the witness or the atma that's all is spiritual sadhana is about